Hi everyone, Daniel Yeomans, Knightsbridge Automotive, and you join me in somewhat of a predicament. So I've been standing here for the best part of 20, 25 minutes, just trying to figure out how I want to give you an overview of the Cullinan, right? So I don't want to do an in-depth long review that's boring, it's not going to capture your imagination. I feel the Cullinan has been reviewed many, many times, but I think a lot of the key highlights, a lot of people aren't aware of. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my coffee down I'm going to take you guys on a journey between the difference of the silver badge and its darker alter ego, the black badge. First thing I have to touch on is the presence. Like, this thing is big. This thing has road presence. I mean, Rolls Royces in general have a presence about them. They exude opulence, they just radiate luxury. And the Cullinan, if it weren't for the Eurus and the Bentayga, this might not even exist. But what Rolls-Royce have done is taken the Phantom 8 and turn it essentially into one of the most luxurious, spacious SUVs, although Rolls-Royce don't like using the term SUV, on the market today. So the silver badge was the original variant, right? So that's the first one that hit the market. And it was a game changer in terms of luxury, refinement, what the SUV market was capable of. Now, what you will notice straight away, the difference between the silver badge, what was the pinnacle, and of course, the black badge, it's darker, alter ego, styling. Spirit of ecstasy, you'll notice the differences in the front grille you'll notice these little winglets are a slightly different color as you work your way down the side of the car it's fully dechromed all the roof rails the side of the car uh, even down to little details like the badge on the side like the rolls royce badge on the side of the car all blacked out and that trend follows all the way through the car even down to the wheels so the wheels on the standard as you can see 22s graphite gray inserts uh, you can have them fully chromed, etc. The black badge, as you can see, has the black inserts and, of course, that all important coloured calipers. So let's touch on engines and drivetrains. Both variants of the Cullinan are powered by 6.75 12 cylinder engine as you can see v12 6.75 liters now the black badge as i mentioned it's the alter ego it's the darker sportier version now what that ultimately means in power delivery is an extra 29 brake horsepower on paper next to no difference it's slightly sharper slightly sportier uh, slightly more refined towards that sporty feeling with chassis changes slightly better brakes um, but they both home the same beautifully crafted 6.75 V12. Now, if you're familiar with Rolls-Royce, you're already familiar with the door closing feature because obviously leaning to close your own door is hard work. But little features, the self-closing doors, the soft closing doors when they are slightly shut, just feels special you're sitting in something that's been handcrafted and beautifully beautifully refined i mean the leather on the dashboard the way the stitching is done bear in mind this is done all by hand it's handmade all back in goodwood it's just such a refined place to be there is so like for example certain cars have like quality differences that you can feel just feels cheap you don't get that in here like the cover for the speakers, this particular one has the bespoke audio, but it has these beautifully crafted covers. The door handles, I mean, the full metal, the surrounds are full metal. The buttons on the steering wheel, metal, 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 metal. There's no plastic. The knobs around, like the entertainment, they're, they're, they're shrouded in leather. The only tiny piece of plastic that I can find is on the gear selector and the cowling for the steering wheel. That's about it. And the true party piece to the Cullinan 
the rear. Now, this is where you want to be. Now, Rolls Royces, traditionally, if you weren't already aware, they are beautiful to drive. But for me, you buy a Cullinan to be driven in. Now, first thing, straight away, these seats. So the immersive seats or the sanctuary seats as they're also known as slightly different variants, but these are beautiful. I mean, you just sink into them and it's just this to be. And first thing you notice straight away when you're here, the starlight roof. I adore this roof. And if you weren't aware, it's the constellation that's above Goodwood and you can actually change the frequency of the shooting stars, which I thought was quite nice. But this particular example, you have to see this. So, in this little center console here, I have little flutes. Now, you can use them as champagne flutes, orange juice, whatever you may be. Now, if I just close this up, close this up, you're probably wondering, where do I keep it? Well, they thought of this. As you pop this open, as you can see, little holder. And I thought that was absolutely genius. Now, if you didn't want to use them, they also thought of you as well, because in here, we have a few more. Just such a, cool, such a cool place to be, but look, let's get rid of that. Put this back. Now, it is worth noting that both of these are actually chill. So this is actually a fridged area. It's actually a chill box, which is actually really, really cool. Now, this particular one is a black badge. And as I mentioned, there are a few key differences. Um, I want to draw your attention to this sort of carbon fiber weave that they use. It's not like anything you have ever seen. And I just need to overlay some B-roll of that. That just looks, it just looks beautiful. But back to the task in hand, the, camp, the carpets, the tables, let me show you something. Click of a button, picnic table, rear theater. Such a cool feature. You can pick up, or actually, before I get ahead of myself. You can control it all from your center console too. So none of this touch screen that you normally see in cars, all controlled from the center console. And it's really easy to use because it's lifted from the X-Drive system. So if you're familiar with BMWs, Rolls Royces take on the same system so you know it's ultra slick and it works really, really well. So before we move to the rear of the car, I just want to draw your attention. Rolls Royce, as you probably already know, especially for us Brits where it rains 364 days a year uh, here in the Middle East. However, it doesn't rain as much. However, that does prove to be a very handy sunshade. Click of a button, close the doors. Now, I want to recap on just the rear of the car. The headroom is uncanny. Look at the size of the car. It's a tall car. You get big headroom, big leg room. Um, it's just a really, really welcoming place to be. Now, a couple of key points I just want to show on this car is its practicality. Now, with our size, it does have an amazing boot space. The Cullinan boasts 560 litres of boot space, and that's to its competitor, the Bentayga, that's a good 80 liters more. And it looks a little something like this. So like I said, huge boot space, 560 liters. And as you can see how big that is, but the details, I mean, Rolls Royce, like the quality that goes even into the parcel shelves that most people just tend to throw out. It's, it's just unparalleled. And this split boot, I love the split boot. Picture it, you're outside, split sit down, you can change shoes, whatever it may be. Um, the boot space as well, one thing that's worth noting, comes in two variants. So this is the standard variant, which is actually one of my favorites. It also comes with a picnic table variant where you can have chairs that swivel out and pop up, which is also quite cool. Um, but bravo, Rolls Royce, you have outdone yourself. The super practical car, as well as being the most luxurious car that we have ever filmed here on Knightsbridge's channel. But to recap then, should we say, massage seats, air cooled seats, heated seats, steer heated steering wheel. You can opt for panoramic sunroofs. You can opt for picnic tables. 
the list of options that you can include into your color nun is borderline endless. Like the silver punch example was the pinnacle. Like you will not be able to top that with any other car. And then they bought out the alter ego, the sportier version, the black badge, which just took it to another level. Little more power, better chassis dynamics, brakes, tweaks, and customization. You'll notice the customization in these cars. I mean, the two black badges we have in the showroom right now, that one has one of the most incredible blue interiors I've ever seen. You've got the mandarin orange, the yellows, the reds even, the, 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 the levels of crim. It's, it's just unmatched. Now, to conclude this, and I have really genuinely struggled on how to conclude it, other than Knightsbridge Automotive are in such a fortunate position. We have silver badges, we have black badges, blue interiors, orange interiors. We can tick practically every single box in that used car market for Cullinans. And if you want to find one of the highest spec Cullinans in the market, we have your back. If you're looking for just the silver badge Cullinan, which again is the, the top tier of luxury refinement, we've got you covered. But look, that's all I can add on that. If you want to see anything else, obviously give us a comment. But for now, I'm just going to admire these cars a little bit longer.